yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna need this today. You guys, one of my favorite things to do is drive in the snow. And guess what it did in the last 24 hours? Oh yeah, we've got a ton of snow. I made a video that was called the Lamborghini Snowplow and it had a bunch of snow like this where I drove up the street and the Lamborghini was quite literally plowing the road. Well today, I've got another bad idea and it involves the Ferrari. I happen to have booked lowering the 48 today at August Luxury Motor Cars. Well, I'm not gonna cancel that because this is ZD. So we're gonna go ahead, get the 488, go and lower it and see if we can plow some streets. There is our subject for the day. Let's fire up, get some heat in the engine and take this thing out. I think this is gonna make a pretty darn good snow plow. Lucky for me, I do come prepared. Snow tires already on the 488, she's good to go. So this car currently is in four x four mode. No, I did not leave the lift up. That is the stock wheel gap of this car. So probably not gonna be a big deal when we first leave, but once we drop that gap all the way down to the top of the tires, this car and its front splitter, which don't worry, if we wreck the stock front splitter, we'll be saved by the Vorsteiner carbon front splitter that is en route. Moment of silence for the splitter. Now nah, we don't do that, let's just go. Everybody wants to hear a 488 cold start with the FI exhaust. Pretty epic. Look at this. We got we got a little slippage, a little bit, nothing major. We're good. We're good. Yeah! Snowmobile! Fine! Alright guys, story time with Damon. Back when I had my 458, for that one year I owned it, I drove it through the entire winter and we got a ton of snow. I put snow tires on it, it was super reliable, and that's how I knew putting snow tires on the 488 would make for a great winter beater. And that's right, I know I'm just gonna trigger some people on the internet, because I call the Ferrari a beater. Truth is, out of the entire fleet at DDE, this is gonna be the winter beater. I also got snow tires on the 720, Dave's got them on the Huracan, we got them coming for the Squadra Corsa. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of cars we're gonna daily drive through every season. I might even be dumb enough to put them on the Murcielago. Eh, we'll see. I picked up Billionaire Mike Hall. We found a nice undisclosed location next to their new version two building, which we can't show you guys. But long story short, we're on some private property and we're gonna do some snow donuts. That seems like the logical thing to do. Yeah. Drive it in more snow. Lots of snow? Lots of snow. There's only really one thing to do here. So much fun. I love snow. And it's only gonna be better once this thing is lower. Hey guys, we're gonna take the Ferrari, slam it to the ground, and you know turn it into the world's most epic snow pile. But before we hit the streets, I need to thank today's sponsor. Amazing product by an amazing company that I've been using now for a very long time. It happens to be the Raycon earbuds. Raycon, co-founded by Ray J, provides innovative earbud designs at prices that don't break the bank. Inspired by underdogs and big dreams, Raycon aims to empower go-getters. The next wave in wireless audio technology. Now these Raycon earbuds are 
called the Everyday E25. They are super comfortable. They come in various colors and patterns. They seamlessly fit into your ear and there's no dangling wires. Now I love listening to my Raycon earbuds at places like the gym or listening to music at home. I can listen to a podcast or watch my favorite daily driven exotic video on YouTube with these earbuds. Now you guys are gonna wanna pick a set of these up and I'll tell you why. They're compact. These little earbuds will last up to six hours. And when they do start to die, you can put them back into this case. They have a little magnet that holds them in and then they recharge. They're absolutely amazing. Raycons make a great holiday gift. They are something that can be used every day for work or play at home or on the go. Now is the time to get the best prices of the year on Raycons, but hurry, this offer is available for a limited time only. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash DDE to get 20% off your order. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of other premium wireless earbud brands. Sounds just as amazing as the other top audio brands. All right, guys, DD fam, I love my Raycon earbuds. Go right now, links are in description. Pick up your set of Raycon earbuds for the holiday season or maybe gift a set to somebody. They're absolutely amazing. You can go to buyraycon.com forward slash DD and get 20% off. But remember, this is for a limited time only, so please go to the links now and pick a set up. Promise you, you're gonna love these. Let's head on with the rest of the vlog and get this baby lowered. Snowplow time. We're only gonna make it lower. <laughs> We're already plowing snow, as is. And stop doing all these engine fault things, Ferrari. our brand new set of Novatech lowering springs. We'll have the team here at August Luxury Motor Cars install them. We're gonna go low. We're gonna get rid of all of this wheel gap. Sitting probably right on top of the tire. And it is still coming down hard. So by the time they're done building all of this and all the suspension, there's only gonna be that much more snow for us to plow. It's gonna take a few hours. Anthony, my boy, is gonna come pick me up in his all-wheel drive Porsche, which does not have snow tires. So that should be interesting. Those have to be like ice skates on this car. I don't know how much the all-wheel drive system would actually save this. Mad whips. You ready to have some fun in the snow? Absolutely, all my summer tires. Yeah, how the hell does your car drive in the snow? Well, it's all about the driver, right? It's all about the driver. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this. This got to be like ice skates on all four corners. Yeah, it's amazing. Actually, my winter tires are here. They're at the transfer center, Dan Ross. They were delayed shipping to your place because of the weather. We can go pick Divert them up. Divert them and send it. Oh, really? Yeah. Why don't we do that? We need a truck for that. We borrow one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point of having friends with trucks and boats and mansions or whatever. You don't have to buy it. I never thought that we'd do this, but we're driving a Ford pickup truck. Woohoo! So let's go get Anthony's. You son of a bitch. Let's go get Anthony's winter wheels and tires. Winter wheels, baby. Yeah. No fines for you. <laughs> <laughs> My man, thank you. You know what Damon needs? I need my coffee, my reduced fat turkey bacon breakfast sandwich. Gotta watch my figure. Oh, breakfast sandwiches, coffee, Damon is happy. What? That's some Christmas. Too early. Starbucks, too early. They force Christmas down your throat so early now. By the way, if you guys want something for your loved one for Christmas, shopdd.com. <laughs> you need to go check on the progress of the 48 being lowered into the ultimate snowmobile. I think we need to put a little shovel on the front, turn it into a plow. That's a plow. Can we take this off and mount it to the front sweater? Let's get them so low that it'll work. Come on. Novatech yellow. It is Novatech yellow. My man, that was a good call. Can we please mount this to the front somewhere? Huh? Right? Come on. We have to try this. Do you think we can make this work? Seriously? I love this as a really bad idea. I think we need a bigger shovel. Are we done already? We are done. We find out now how low it's gonna be? That was stock. And let's see how much lower it goes than stock. Oh. Oh sh Oh! Mr. Plow coming to What do you think, Mr. Plow? That's good. Doesn't it? And it'll settle even more once we get it off of here. Time to see how much snow we can push. Who's ready to go slay some snow? I think we should take the car up, big white, because there's not enough snow here. Right. Imagine how much snow there is on top of a mountain. Let's do it. <laughs> so we're gonna get stuck. No, we won't. Should we come? <laughs> Time to take the new snowmobile out. Thank you for Great. deleting all the codes. We're gonna go up the mountain. Cause that makes sense. Lower a Ferrari and then take it up the mountain. Right? DD makes sense. DD baby. 
We'll go where the snow's a little yeah, deeper. Go we don't want to two slam because then we're gonna just wreck. We don't want to wreck purpose. Well, not quite. Hell yeah. Snow bros reporting for action. Snow bros, that's so good. <laughs> do you wanna go up the mountain? I do. This is probably a really bad idea now that I've lowered this thing, but let's do it anyhow. Yes, let's see what happens. Let's go. Adventure time. Guys, here we go up the mountain, up the mountain, big white ski resort. How epic is this? This is what DVE started out as. I got a Gallardo, put winter tires on it, and I shoved my snowboard onto the passenger seat, and up we went up the mountain. A little slick. It's getting thick now, you guys. The snow's starting to accumulate on the road. These tires are doing absolutely amazing. Lower part of the mountain, those chairlifts are not operating yet. Still a little early in the season. Now we got full snow coverage on the ground. Oh, you can hear those chunks hitting the front splitter. Oh, she's getting thick now. She's getting thick, look at the edges. A couple of feet on the sides of the road. If you ever wondered if you could drive a supercar in the winter, you sure the heck can. Let's get yourself some really good winter snow tires and know how to drive. We made it. Welcome to Big White, you guys. Looking pretty sick right now. Looking amazing. We're down to minus four Celsius. Almost to the village, you guys. A few more turns. Mike's condo, billionaire Mike Hall. His condo is right there. <laughs> Anthony, what do you think, brother? That was fun. <laughs> right? My camera, the battery died. No. So we're going to vlog it with the old cell phone. Dude, really? look at this. <laughs> look at this. The Ferrari slammed seems to accumulate a little bit of guck in between the wheels, eh? Yeah. Hey? Those roads were greasy, dude. Really Those slick. Big trucks coming on, like full tilt down the hill. Oh, I saw them. <laughs> and the road gets narrower. Yeah. Yeah, I was straight up uh, kind of like, oh crap. This is what DD is all about right here. There you guys have it. Our first winter run in the Rari. <laughs> Slammed. Amazing. <laughs> Look at it. Look how low it is. Hey, how's your car? Your car did well? Yeah, amazing. We've got the village off in the background, you guys, and we've got the Ferrari currently stuck. As you can see, we snow plowed our way all the way up here. That's what it's all about, DD right here, man. Now the question is, can we get out? Yes. <laughs> my hands are freezing. So are mine. I can't feel anything. Yeah. Tucked in, I think we'll make it out. Look at this view though, you guys. Does it get any better than that? My hands are stiff. Oh, shall we see if we can get the Ferrari out? Yeah, let's do that. There's the thumbnail right there. Oh, damn, it's frozen. Pretty much as much snow as you want packed in here. Look at, I, dude, I smoothed it all out and the fins have created little grooves. <laughs> got a little hairy in there, got caught in there for a second. <laughs> okay, let's fire it up. Well, you guys, welcome to the highest residence in all of Canada, the Aspens. So we just learned that this is the highest place to live in Canada. If you own one of the penthouses or one of the top suites, you can literally say, you live 
at the highest altitude in all of Canada. And what a beautiful place to be. We've arrived. Billionaire Mike Hall's Chateau de Billionaire. Oh, wow, this is how billionaires live. This right? is. He's got this unit and it's like two or three stories. Yeah. It's actually really big. Dude, the snowmobiles are doing great. Yeah, I know. Cars are like, they're killing it. No issues whatsoever. Plowing through everything. Have to do a little 180 down here and turn around. I don't know. How else are we going to get out of here? That's a good point. <laughs> All right. A little, a little bit of finessing. Okay. I, thought, I thought we were stuck number two. All right, guys, smash that subscribe button. Anthony and I are freezing, and we need to go warm up over a hot cup of cocoa. Smash the subscribe button. Go to shopdd.com if you guys want some merch. Winter tested, nice and early. The 488 beater. Anthony's 911. So what we're gonna do now is take these back down the hill. Keep going, Brent. 